Hey everybody, welcome back to the Renewed Homestead. Uh, day two of Tropical Depression Ida. Uh, I just wanted to give you an update. It's been a very light mist pretty much all day. A little heavy at times, but not near the 8 to 10 inches that they thought we might get. But I also wanted to bring up a couple of things. And, and I think the way I portrayed it yesterday is that we kind of blew off the fact that we've got a hurricane moving through our area. And that is not at all, at all, um, how we treated it. And, um, you know, we, we watched the storm moving up, you know, I even warned my son out in, in Texas. I'm like, Hey, this thing could come straight across and head towards you. Make sure you've got provisions. And, uh, so we watched it come around and, and watch where that leading edge was and kept changing and so forth. But, um, we did we did think ahead you know we've got uh you know, we've got a well and if our power went out we don't have solar backup yet so um from arizona you know we got bottled water we have those five, big five gallon bottle bottles we've got uh most of those filled up and just in case we need water and of course we've got our streams and and you know we could filter that we've got you know a uh, berkey water filter so you know, we've got that. We can always boil water on the <laughs> the grill because right now the kitchen is down. Of course, we've got the the, the uh, kitchen in the RV. But anyway, two is one, one is none. You know, we've got some redundancies. But you know, we we've thought about if if by some chance we got some kind of flooding, where we would move the animals or what we would need to do. But those trees right up there right there, the pine trees, that's where the wild deer like to sleep. Um, when our neighbor's horses are over here, they sleep under there on colder nights. And that's probably the highest point on our property. But you can see we are nearly at the top of the mountain. So the water that comes through here doesn't have a chance to get a lot of momentum. Uh, the creek on that side of the property gets to running pretty good and that follows the road down along our our neighbor's house and so we do he and I both keep an eye on that road to make sure that it's not spilling down the road and and diverting into the creek the right way um, the creek on this side that gets full that's the one that feeds into our pond and the pond overflows and you know it's not enough to to erode away the the new wall that we put in that washes over the top and washes down the side but no big deal there, but of course we, we kind of checked our inventory, made sure that we didn't have to go to the store for anything. Um, you know, that that's just, that's our normal thought process is we want to make sure we've got enough supplies that if something bad happens, if the car breaks down, whatever the case may be, that we can't get to the store, we don't need to be at the store. So um, the other thing about the flooding is I know it's really difficult to tell but this, this is well sloped. So any water coming down from the top this direction towards me is going to come off the slope this way into the creek. And on, oops, sorry for my hand there. On the other side of that, it's going to slope down to the other creek. So really none of it's going to come down this way. Hi, sheep. Down to the house there. It just, I mean... We would need uh, a storm of biblical proportions and water coming down as in, you know, jump on board the ark for it to really even get down to our house. But, um, so food, water, shelter, you know, we've got the shop if we needed to get the birds up out of the rain or anything like that. But, you know, their, their uh, pens, you know, are in, in the barn there and they're perfectly good there. The barn has good water slope around it, so no water is going to hit down in there. You can see our other corn garden. Um, you know, we don't even we don't even get water built up there. It it slopes around and, and goes fine. So we are really in pretty good shape, and that's and that's part of the reason we bought the property. You know, you look at you know we're at the end of a dead end road. We're near the top of the mountain. We don't have anybody above us to contaminate any of the water coming down on the creeks if we needed to drink from them. Uh, we just set ourselves up in a good situation here. Um, thank you, God, because, you know, we, we didn't know where we were going to land when we got here. But um, I just wanted to revisit and let you know we're, we're doing fine. 
It's actually been a really nice day. Little temperatures a little bit cooler. Good, good, nice mist. You know, just the just that right amount that can soak up into the ground as as it hits. And you can see some the goldenrod blooming. I know I pointed that out before, but it's just hard to believe we're already at the end of uh, end of the gardening season. I mean, you know, fall crops, of course, but corn and the pumpkins and all that. Pumpkins are orange and. I think uh, this evening we're going to cut into that watermelon finally. It keeps, you know, getting put off with other jobs and chores. And next thing you know, it's 9 o'clock at night and don't want to get filled up on watermelon and then go to bed. So, anyway, that was the first born on the property. And there's the newest little one down there, the little black and white one. But, anyway, they're all doing good. And, and uh, you know, it's just... Looking nice. You can see the I'm spinning around here. You can see the clouds coming over the smoke from the uh, Smoky Mountains. And the sun's trying to peek out a little bit too. So we have weathered the minor storm that we had very well. But again, we uh, we appreciate all your thoughts and concerns and prayers. But uh, as always, be good to each other. Thanks for tuning in. Give us a thumbs up. God bless, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.